In this third and final video, I'll go over how you align and arrange objects on a page using the type tool, the rectangle tool, and the group and ungroup commands. So first, let's go ahead, start a new layer. We'll label it type. And hit T, and that'll bring up the type tool. You can click anywhere on the artboard. Let's type in the title of this. So it's a Southeast Axon. Go under the Properties panel, and here you can change the font. Um, I'm just going to unitalicize it. If you click the three dots, you can get more options, and you can really get into detail with font, you know, the spacing between letters, between lines, etc. cetera. Um, let's just copy this text and paste it, and we will change one to read the scale. One foot equals a quarter inch. Now, smart gates make it really easy to align things on a page, but let's say we want to vertically align the southeast axon to this text body. Um, you can do this using the align panel, which I already have connected to my panels over here, but you can click Window, Align. So select the scale, then hold Shift and select the title. Right now it says Align to Selection, so this will bring Southeast Axon down to the scale when we use the vertical align bottom. Otherwise, if you have Align to Artboard, and then hit vertical line bottom, it's gonna bring it down to the bottom. So we'll just undo that. Next, hit M, or over here on the toolbar, you can access the shapes panel. We're gonna draw a rectangle over the scale. Let's change the fill of this so that We can differentiate between the text and the rectangle. Um, so layer order matters. One way to move this rectangle behind the text or bring the text to the forefront would be to highlight the rectangle, click on the square under the layers panel, bring it to a different layer. So you click, drag, release, or you can right click on the rectangle, hit arrange, Send to back. The last thing I want to show you is how you group objects. So if you want to group this, select both of them, hit Control G, and this will make it one object that you can move around. And then to ungroup, Control Shift G, and I'll separate them. One thing to note, like if you were to group this whole line drawing, I'll just show you what happens. Let's create a new layer, hit OK. We're going to copy. First, we're going to unlock those. Copy, Control C, Control V, paste it, and then hit Control G while they're still all selected. That will collapse all of your line work into one layer. And in doing this, you could do what we did earlier with Smart Guides. You could select this, go under Align, make sure it's aligned to Artboard, and then you can center your object this way as well. But we don't need that because we did it the other way. If you are ready to print this, first you'll want to save it, file, save a copy, and we'll save it as an Adobe PDF. Hit save. It'll bring up this window. Here's where you can compress your file, choose high quality print, small size. It's so small it doesn't really matter. Um, high quality print will preserve Illustrator editing capabilities. 
So you could just open that PDF and edit it in Illustrator. Without that selected, it will make it a smaller file size. However, when you hit save, this warning window will pop up reminding you to make sure you have a backup Illustrator file so that you can edit it in the future. So we can hit OK. And here we have our 11 by 17 ready to be printed. And obviously the page size, the text, and the drawing proportions, they're all out of whack. Um, but I wanted to introduce you to some basic commands in Illustrator that would just help you get started in creating your own drawings.